was tall in space. So that's what I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> He's not afraid of space. What if yes. you were Metcalf, your favorite snack or My favorite snack or candy? Oh no. Um, <laughs> gosh. Um, you know what I love? <laughs> I like gushers. <laughs> you know those things? You, like, you, they're like little chewies, you bite them and there's juice inside of them. They're fun. Um, and I like, oh, you know what? I made the mistake of saying this once, and I now have a, a refrigerator uh, full of Milky Way Dark chocolate. <laughs> if you have not had a Milky Way Dark, thou hast not yet lived. <laughs> They are so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, you gotta check them out. Right. Um, I like I like a lot of different things. You know, I love nuts. I love like cashews and almonds and stuff like that too. So, yes, sir. What has been your most embarrassing or awkward moment as a voice actor besides the donut stall? Um, embarrassing moment. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've, I've told this story before too, so if you've heard it, forgive me, but I was doing a scene, we were, we were actually, it was Full Metal, and, um, and it was some very emotional scene. I mean, really heavy, like Ed is like, you know, he's, he's almost at the point of tears, and he's trying to hold it back, and I'm, I'm, I'm going through, I'm looking at the scene, we haven't recorded yet, right? But I'm looking at my next line, and I'm reading it, and I'm like, and I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm imagining how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to be almost at the point of tears when I do it. I'm so ready for it, right? So then I'm like, I'm gearing myself up, and the director's waiting for me to be ready to do it. And finally he goes, are you ready? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and I did the lines with all of the emotion I could put into it. And the director came on and said, That was awesome, dude. But that wasn't your line. <laughs> I'm like, It is now! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I had skipped, you know what I mean? I accidentally skipped a line, and I was thinking at this line, it wasn't it. So I'm like, Crap! <laughs> Now I'm crying for different reasons. <laughs> we have about five minutes left. Let's have a couple of good questions. Yes. I hate to be a ruder, but um, can you do the miniskirt lineup? No, that's not rude, because I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no, you guys, I'm I I have sworn to heaven above I'm not going to do that line anymore. No Broly, wait something yeah. No Broly. <laughs> this is a no Broly zone. <laughs> for the rest of the weekend. And I, and I have a lot of talk. Oh yeah, I'll sign right across his awesome chest. <laughs> Look at those pets, baby. Jack <laughs> um, Yes? Yeah, I was curious. You said that you uh, started doing music and all that. I wanted to know, what was the first genre and the first artist that really made you say, I want to make music? Oh, that's easy. If you were at my concert last year, you know. Um, no, I'm just saying the people that were there. Um, I, when I was 17 years old, I was at boarding school in South Carolina, and I, it was a, it was a school that was the the, uh, the high school prep school was part of a bigger university. So I actually lived in the dormitories with college guys. I was a high school kid, and I had three college roommates. Right. So this one afternoon, one of my college roommates asked me if I wanted to ride with him to Kmart. He had to drive up to Kmart to pick something up. Did I want to go? And I'm like, yeah, okay. I was 17. I just wanted to get off campus, right? I'll never forget it. He had a yellow Camaro. We got in his car, and he goes, do you mind if I put in an eight-track tape? <laughs> and I'm like, sure, man. He puts in an eight-track tape of an artist named Barry Manilow. <laughs> sat there in the car and listened to these songs and I'm like, I like this guy. He's, uh, there's an honesty. There's, he's not flashy. He's not, he doesn't scream. He's not, like, terribly good looking. He doesn't, like, wear, like, leather and scream and, you know, and burn his guitar and, you know what I mean, jump up and He's just a guy. He's just a, just a schleppy kind of a guy who has this talent. 
and I really liked him. And so a couple of weeks later, it was Christmas break, and I went home for Christmas break, and I bought like three albums, albums, <laughs> records, and, and I just fell in love with him. And you know what? He's who got me started playing the piano. I wanted to learn how to play his songs, and I, and I started sounding them out, and I found out very quickly that God had given me this natural ear for, for music, and I, I found that I could work a song out almost immediately and play it exactly the way they played it on the recording. And so I, you know what, there's one person on the planet I want to meet, and it isn't Barack Obama, <laughs> and it's, it's not uh, any famous movie star. He's in the 60s now, but I would love to meet Barry Manilow just to say, you know what, you'll never know. I mean, you've heard this a million times, Mr. Manilow, I'm sure, but you'll never know what your music, you grabbed me somehow, and now almost uh, like a lot of what I do, writing music and, and singing and playing the piano and producing are all things that I came to do because there was something about him that inspired me. And you know what? It makes me think about my career and my life. And, you know, cartoon characters come and go, animes come and go. But if, if I have the privilege or the opportunity to share something fun with you guys or something that inspires you beyond that, then I will be able to pass that on the way he, the way he inspired me to do something that I, that I ended up doing professionally. Um, so if I'm lucky enough or blessed enough, I should say, to get the chance to do that for fans of my work, then um, I will be very, very, very grateful. Um, you guys, we are out of time. I love you madly. Um, I will see you guys, hopefully, at autographs. I've got a Q&A session tomorrow that we'll show you some videos at in this room. So we'll see you soon. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.